So for today, we're going to be doing the Mega Mechano sets for all the classes, specifically the class item, because I want to make sure that you guys are aware that these armor pieces are available in Eververse. So we've already done the boots and the arms. I have them up right now so that way you guys can see them if you guys want to. Be aware that you don't have to, like, if you really don't want to pick these up for whatever reason, you should at least pick up three because then you can just buy it in the store for cheaper because the more pieces you get, the cheaper it is in the actual store. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the Celestial Nighthawk with the Hrafna Gut ornament and then obviously the Omega Mechanos cloak. So Sublime Sleeves, Veritas Vest, and Thunderhead Strides for all of the pieces and then for the Shadering Precursor Vex Chrome specifically because the cloak, specifically the the scarf and the bottom of the cloak do not change colors. The scarf is going to have like more of a navy blue and then the cloak is going to have more of a gold which is why precursor vector trump came to mind because that's literally the colors i actually think the omega mechanos cloak the shader that it it has originally is the vex or the precursor vex chrome i could be wrong about that but i i'm pretty sure it is and i really like this one um i will say i'm conflicted on the veritas vest with the sublime sleeves because on one hand the under armor is white but then when you see the edges of the actual vest, you'll see that it's black. So I'm thinking like the under armor of the white is black, but I would have, I think I would have preferred white, but then I would have had that black between the white pieces. So I don't know. I'm, I think I like the black a little bit more, but overall, I really do like this one. It kind of reminds me of not a guardian, but like a bodyguard uh, for something. I don't know. Like that's like the vibe I get. I also like the combination of the Hrafna Gud ornament with the Omega Mechanos because the snout of the helmet goes really well with the back of the cloak, specifically the helmet, the head part, because uh, the top part, I should say, because uh, it goes back. So it's like the front and the back it looks really cool. So overall, I actually really, really like this one. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using the mark for this one for the Omega Mechanos. Now, I will say I should mention, actually, is the fact that the mark does not change color like almost at all. I think the belt changes color. But other than that, nothing like the cloth does not change color which is very unfortunate which is also why i went with grand luster for the shader for the arms virtuous gauntlets for the chest piece it's going to be the devastation complex and then desolation diver greaves for the greaves and then saint of helm or helm of saint 14 for the exotic so obviously i'm going for a saint 14 look i will say there's a few things that i would probably switch out first and foremost if you wanted to keep the like Phoenix or the bird montage where the arms do have, then definitely switch out the Devastation Complex chess piece with the Crucible variant because that one has uh, Phoenixes and it would look really cool with that. That being said, if you the thing that I find annoying about the Virtuous Gauntlets is the fact that the birds on the shoulder pads do not change color, so you would have to pick a navy color for that. And again, if you're going to go for a navy, make sure you, you have a navy in purple because the cloth does not change color. And you're going to want a deeper purple because, again, that's much more of a deeper color for that, for the cloak, for the mark. So, yeah, I honestly, if you were to just ask me, like, what would you do? I would probably just switch out the arms on each chest piece um, and switch them around. So I would use the, De the Devastation Complex arms and the Virtuous uh, chest piece. I think that would have been a better choice. That being said, I like fur, like personally, I just think fur is way cooler, which is why I use Devastation Complex. So yeah, I would definitely go back to like the, to be fair, like if I, the original like concept for this set was just going to be like a warrior vibe and Saint, Helm of Saint 14 was not even in that picture, but I was like, ah, this is obviously like much more of a Saint 14 mark more than anything else so i decided to go with that but in hindsight i really should have just gone with gone with a basic warrior look because i feel like that would have been way better but titans let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we have warlocks i definitely think this one is really really cool for the helmet facade of the hezen lords for the arm sonic speaker gloves for the chest piece phenotype plasticity robes for the boots we're going to be using the transverse steps with the path to convergence ornament and then obviously omega mechanos bond so this is funnily not the worst when it comes to shadering. I think the hunters and titans probably titans specifically have the worst. Hunters would be second and then warlocks would be third just because their unshaderable piece is very thin. Um, the bond 
on top and bottom there's like a purple line that doesn't change color so that's why i say it's not the worst but it's definitely like if you notice it you notice it type of thing so for the shader and continuum alloy is what we're using now i love this combo with the sonic speaker gloves and the phenotype plasticity robes specifically because on the left side of the mark or specifically because of the left specifically because of the left side of the chest piece you guys will see that there's like lines going down and it goes really well with the arms from that side as well because it has just lines there as well the only annoying thing i can really say is the fact that the right side of the gauntlet takes the off color which if it took the main color it would have been so cool but this is destiny 2 we really can't have nice things so i just made do with it to be fair you could use other shaders like dreaming spectrum um and there is another shader but they kind of butchered that one so i never used it anymore uh dream spectrum would be a good choice that being said i don't think it's a good choice just because unfortunately um the boots have this red that don't change color on the knees and that's why i'm using continuum alloy because it has red specifically that type of red which is why i was like i'll just use continuum alloy so this is much more of a like i'm just gonna bear with it that being said it's not bad it definitely adds more character to the my actual character but it's just annoying so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point i am working on a bunch of content i'm currently working on some of the back stock that i have so specifically the uh, veteran legend stuff for all the classes specifically the class uh specific videos because i've already done the review video and the shader video for Le uh, veteran legend armor um and then after that we'll most likely Oh, I have to do the class specific uh, or the class item exotics as well. I haven't done those yet. We'll see because uh, Revenant is coming out soon. So I probably will just put all of the stuff that I should be doing into that next stuff um, because I still haven't gotten the last piece, the helmet from the season pass. And that one's going to be like a super short video. I still haven't done the shader videos, which quite frankly, I'm. I might do them real fast before the season's up because I do think I, some of the shaders we got this season's pretty cool. I'll probably skip out the skip out on the Iron Banner one just because, quite frankly, I don't feel like playing Iron Banner like at all right now, unless it's like specifically like a new armor sets out. But for a shader that I don't even really care about, I it's hard to get motivation to do that. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.